His coral tine trident screeches fancy light in the tempest. Yeah, well, I love it. Everything that's good that's happened to me in my life came because of that. Alright gang, welcome back. This is a series where I review old films, new films, films I haven't seen before, TV shows and everything in between. And this week we are back again with WandaVision episode 4 review. You're not my neighbor. And you're definitely not my friend. You are a stranger. And an outsider. And right now you are trespassing here. And I want you to leave. All right, we got a new up close view of the snap and the uh, what happens with the blip after everyone comes back to life. And I actually thought that was unbelievably interesting. I really, really liked it. Thought it was really cool. I like they keep adding layers to Wanda's powers in this TV show. It just seems to keep like amping up and amping up. And now she's actually at the point where she can, um, where she can uh, alter people's real world memories. And um, I think that's really cool. I like that. I like the way they're going with this. Finally. Finally, in the MCU, we have Sorb. We've had aliens for so, so long now. We've had alien activity of people on other planets. Finally, we have Sword. Sword's one of my uh, favorite, uh, favorite divisions of the government or whatever you call them uh, in the comic books. I genuinely love the storylines that come out of them. Um, I think it's gonna be really, really good for the MCU and I can't wait to see more of them. Inside of the Sword facility, we uh, it seems like we actually see remnants very much like after the original incident in New York City. All the way back in the first Avengers film, we've got remnants of, uh, of Thanos' ship and uh, everything else that came with his attack in the, at the end of Endgame. Obviously, the drone is the helicopter. Yeah, didn't actually try and fly a real helicopter through, it was the drone they were trying to fly through. But yeah, either way, flew something through and that became that, so yeah. Very interesting. When they were talking about the cosmic background radiation, uh, which, I don't know, if it, maybe Wanda explodes, maybe she forces her powers all over the world or something like that, maybe that's how she rewrites the mutants or something. But in my mind I was like, well, that's where mutants are going to be coming from, That's this will be the mutant point. I don't know, maybe that's the X gene that mutants have in them comes from this, I don't know. Be interesting to see. Hopefully, this is a gateway to uh, to that to what happens. But I don't know. Lieutenant Trouble. So obviously, we all know that the uh, the Big Bang energy that they were talking about, um, or energy from the Big Bang. Uh, comes from the Infinity Stones because they've said in the films before the Infinity Stones were forged uh, at the uh, start of the universe for all the different elements and powers that create life and matter and all that sort of stuff. Um, probably not going to be anything extra on that, although they'll probably just realize that it's the stone because she got her powers given to her by the Mind Stone, so yeah. It was really, really nice to see Kat Dennings back in this. Um, not only because she's a very funny actress, but um, it's nice to see that she's an actual doctor now, that she started out as an, as an intern in uh, Thor and Thor 2, uh, The Dark World, but um, yeah, now she's a, she's a proper doctor and she's, 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 she's really smart, she's doing all this stuff, it's awesome. It was really nice to see her back, I liked it a lot. The main thing I felt in this episode was intrigue. I'm so intrigued now just to see how this is going to be resolved and how they either snap her out of it or how they force her out of this situation. I just, ooh, I'm very, very keen. I'm very, very keen to see what happens. I'm going to have to watch this episode through again a few more times. Um, there was a lot that happened in this one and there's a lot to unpack. Um, this episode was mainly like filling in a lot of, uh, a lot of the plot and a lot of uh, the narrative for us as viewers. And we sort of knew that going in. I've seen the trailer, so I didn't really expect too much coming out of it. But yeah, um, 
Jesus, seeing Vision dead, standing there and talking, that was haunting. I was like a zombie. It wasn't nice to look at. That was, oh, ugh, gave me the ick. It's not nice. Yeah. The bit which wasn't cut out of the episode before this um, is a little maniacal and a bit crazy. She's clearly very, very protective of this world she's created, just like I said last week. But god damn, she's, she really went for it. They could make her a really, really, really good villain out of this. She would be a scary and almost unstoppable villain. I don't know why. I know Wanda's going through some stuff. Um, and I know that she's doing, it's probably going to be doing terrible things. People going missing and everything, but I sort of just want them to leave Wanda alone at this point and just let her get on with it and live her best life, even if it is fake. Yeah. Normally at the end of the episode, I would uh, talk about all the different uh, theories that I have and stuff for next week and for future episodes. And honestly, at this point, I said them in the last few episodes. Some of them are true, some of them aren't. I, I don't really have any going forward this week. I'm gonna watch it a few more times to see if I can figure anything out, but this was more of a filler episode, so I don't really have any um, any theories about next week's episodes or, or, or anything else right now. This was a really, really good episode, and I am so keen to see where they go next with it. All right, gang, that was my review of WandaVision episode four. Did you like it? Did you agree? Have you seen the episode yet yourself? Let me know in the comments down below. You can follow me on any social media things like TikTok and Instagram here at this thing. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next week for WandaVision episode five.